So let's consider this reaction. We have six moles of lithium reacting with one mole of nitrogen gas to produce two moles of lithium nitride. Now, if it is given to us that we have 12.3 grams of lithium and then we have 33.6 grams of nitrogen gas, determine the limiting reagent. So how do we find that? Firstly, what is this limiting reagent? It's just a reagent or a reactant that is used up first during a chemical reaction. So why is it important for us to know it? It's because it determines the amount of product that's going to be formed. So we need to know what is the limiting reagent so that we can use it to calculate any information regarding the product. That's fine. So this is how we start. We need to find the number of moles for both of our reactants but the number of moles that are available at the start of the reaction. So you go for lithium, you say the mass of lithium is 12.3. The molar mass is seven on the periodic table, of course. So if you say 12.3 divided by seven, you are just going to get 1.76 moles like that. Then you come back and say the number of moles of nitrogen gas is still mass divided by the molar mass. But now here you understand the mass is going to be 33.6. And then for the molar mass, you know that you have two nitrogen atoms and each is going to have a mass of 14 like that. Then if you punch everything into the calculator, you find that the number of moles is going to be 1.2 moles. So both of these are the number of moles that are available at the start of the reaction. Now you are going to choose any reactant, either lithium or nitrogen gas but you need to calculate the number of moles of that reactant that are needed to react completely with the other reactant. Say for instance, we want to determine the number of moles of lithium that are needed to react completely with nitrogen. So what are we going to do? We take lithium and then we relate it to nitrogen gas. So we understand they relate in a ratio of six is to one, like that. Now, because I'm looking for lithium, then I'm going to use the number of moles of nitrogen gas. So for nitrogen gas, it's just going to be 1.2 moles. So then how many moles of lithium are needed? In order for me to find X, I'm going to say 1.2 divided by 1 multiplied by 6, like that. So it's like I'm having 1.2 multiplied by 6. So we realize that the number of moles of lithium that are needed to react with nitrogen is just going to be 7.2 moles. Then from this point, what do you do? You are going to relate the number of moles. In fact, you compare them. So you compare the number of moles of lithium that are needed, of course, versus the number of moles of the very same lithium that are available at the start of the reaction. So here you can see that you need 7.2 moles, but how much do you have? You have 1.6 moles. So you can see that the number of moles that are needed are more than the number of moles that are available. 
So every time you have this situation, then you understand that lithium is the limiting reagent. Like that. But if it happens that the number of moles that are needed are less than the number of moles that are available, then it means lithium was going to be the excess reagent. So in this case, our excess reagent is going to be nitrogen gas because you have more than you need. So it means you are still going to be left with something. So nitrogen gas is the excess reagent. So now that we know our limiting reagent, what is the next question? Let's see. So the next question says, the actual yield of lithium nitride in this reaction is going to be 5.89 grams. That's what they tell us. So what is this actual yield? The actual yield, think of it, actual then yield. Yield meaning four. So it means the actual amount of lithium nitride that has been formed is going to be 5.89 grams. That's the actual yield, the actual amount. So if you need to calculate the percentage yield, you are just going to say percentage yield is equal to the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield then you multiply this by 100. So both of your yields, they need to be in grams because they are masses. So we want to know what is the actual mass that we obtained for the product. And then the theoretical mass is the mass that we expect to form. Are you fine? So we are expecting to form this mass but in the actual sense, we form this mass. So in this case, we are given the actual yield. It's the one we collected when the reaction reached completion. Now we need to know what is the theoretical yield. So the theoretical yield is the one we get in our calculations, not in the experiment itself. So how do we determine the actual, sorry, the theoretical yield? Then we are going to use our limiting reagent because we need to know first how many moles of lithium nitride are going to be produced. Then from those moles, we can calculate the mass. Fine stuff. So because we already have the number of moles of the limiting reagent, then we are going to use them and compare them or rather relate them <clears throat> to the number of moles of lithium nitride. So we tell them that the ratio between lithium and lithium nitride is just going to be six is to two, which if you prefer, you can simplify it and say it's just going to be three is to two like that, is it? No, three is to one, yes. It was six is to two, so it's just three is to one in its simplest form, that's the ratio. But now here you know that the number of moles for lithium is 1.76 moles. So you take 1.76, you divide it by three, then you multiply it by one. So how much does it give you? So it means the number of moles of lithium nitride that are going to be produced, it's just 0 0.59 moles. So from here, you can conclude and tell them the number of moles for your lithium nitride is just going to be 0 0.59 moles like that. Now from this point, because we have the number of moles, then we can calculate the mass. 
So we tell them that the number of moles is mass divided by the molar mass. So how much is the number of moles? It's just 0 0.59. We are looking for the mass, but what about the molar mass? So for lithium nitride, we understand we have three lithium atoms. Each is going to have an atomic mass of seven, and then nitrogen is going to have an atomic mass of 14. You can add this up. You need to add them up, of course. Now, if you add them up, it's going to be three times seven. And then you say plus 14 like that. So it means the molar mass is just going to be 35. That's the molar mass for lithium nitride. So now that you have the molar mass, you can choose to cross multiply in order to make your mass the subject. So M multiplied by one is M, then 35 multiplied by 0 0.59. It's just going to be 20.65 grams. So what is this mass? It's the mass that we obtained by performing our calculations. So this means it's the theoretical yield. But what about the one we were given? How much was it? 5.89. It's the actual yield, the actual amount that we obtained from the experiment itself. So we come back and tell them that the percentage yield is just going to be the actual mass or rather the actual yield. And this is divided by the theoretical yield. Then we multiply this quotient by a hundred. So the actual yield is 5.89 grams. The theoretical yield is 20.65 grams. Then we multiply the whole thing by 100 like that. And then if we press our calculator, so it's going to tell us that the percentage yield for this reaction is just going to be 28.52% like that. And this is how you find your percentage yield.